Hello friends. So now that we know how to deep clean our bathroom sink, now let's finish up the sink and tub area. If you didn't watch my video on how deep clean and remove the hard water from your sink, go to my videos and watch it. There is a short version and a long version where I explain in details. So now let's clean this area, okay? So first of all, we're gonna start putting away the things that are gonna be in our way when we do our cleaning. So let's put everything away. I personally like to vacuum the rugs first so I can get them out of the way. I also like to vacuum the floor first because before I clean because if there is hair on the floor, especially the bathroom floor, and you're going to spill some water, then the floor the hair is going to stick on the floor. So I like to vacuum the floor to get rid of all trash, to get rid of all hair. And that way, if I spill something, it's not going to be a mess on the floor. Also, I personally like to vacuum the floors. I do not like sweeping because I feel the when you sweep, the broom lifts, lifts up a lot of uh, dust. And I don't like that. So the vacuum just sucks it all in and that's it. As for vacuums, I really like the shark vacuums because they are lightweight, but just make sure they're, they're lightweight if you're going to get one. There's some of them that are really heavy. So the lightweight are amazing. And for the hard floors, I use this um, vacuum. It's a Makita. And that one, it's cordless. So you, it requires a battery. So it's very handy because you don't have a cord hanging. So that one is awesome too. We're gonna stop on the top area. Now we're gonna wash and clean any decoration we might have around the top. You know, a lot of us have some artificial plants and they accumulate a lot of dust with time. So I put a towel on the floor so we can lay it there while we clean and then at the end we're gonna dry them. So let's clean all decoration we might have around our tub. So now I'm going to spray some Melaleuca Tough and Tender. That smells so good and it's helpful to clean. Um, this tub, we don't use it as much, but it still accumulates a lot of dust. So we still want to wipe it down so there's no dust. We want to wipe down all the outside and the inside. If you don't use your tub as much, the cloth will be enough. You know, we've got to clean and then rinse it. And if you use your tub a lot, what works very good is dish soap done with vinegar and water that one will clean your tub pretty good uh, i have my concerns about using the cream cleanser because it might scratch it or any pad will scratch it especially if it's uh, the plastic material i think it's acrylic material so now we want to use a clean dry cloth and we want to dry everything we washed and we can put it back and it's going to be nice and clean now free of dust <music> I 
I personally don't like a lot of things on my countertop uh, because it's harder to clean. So whatever I have when I'm cleaning, I move everything, I wipe it down, and that is much easier. So um, I try to put everything I have organized under the cabinets. That way I don't have a lot of things on top. And you'll see if you do that, it will be so much easier for you to clean. So I wipe down everything, and then I dry wherever I put things on, uh, like this one that I'm using because I don't like to put wet things on top of things because it's going to leave a watermark. So I'm just going to wipe down whatever I have there so I can move it out of the way and I can, I can wipe down the countertops. So this is the other side of the bathroom sink. I'm going to remove everything. This corner trays are amazing. I bought them at Amazon. And you know, you can put a lot of things there and everything is going to be stored in a corner. People don't see it. You just wipe it down and put dry it and put everything back on it and just get it out of the way when you're going to clean. And it's so easy. So I recommend this corner trays. They're completely out of the way. So now let's move on to the countertops. We're going to spray the tough and tender on the countertops to clean them. You'll like the smell of the tough and tender from Melaleuca. So I'll just spray the two countertops. And for the inside of the sink, I explain on my uh, removing hard water from bathroom sink video that you can use once you remove the hard water from the cream cleanser with the cream cleanser you can use the cleaning paste. And if you clean your bathrooms once a week, you don't need to use the cream cleanser anymore. The cleaning paste will remove and polish everything. That, it's amazing. It will remove whatever stuff you accumulated in that week. And it's all natural. I show on my other video that you get it at Amazon. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna clean the inside but it's going to be as shiny as the video that i show you about cleaning the sink sometimes when we wash our hands we might splash a little bit of water on the mirror well that cleaning paste as you can see me doing it it will remove those uh, splashes of water so it's amazing <laughs> So now it's time to rinse the cleaning paste that we used. Everything is going to be shiny, faucets are polished, mirror, it's amazing. I like to use a lot of water to remove all the paste that you're going to see there. So let's do that on both sinks. I used to get this cleaning paste from QVC. It was called um, BioCleaner Paste. But it's been out of stock for a long time, so that's why I look for one from Amazon that is a similar one to the one on QVC. I keep checking to see if they have it, but they haven't um, had it in a while. So that's why I replace it with Amazon, but the BioCleaner is great. So here on my second sink, I just noticed that there is a couple of uh, spots of hard water. So I'm going to go back with the cleaning paste to make sure I remove everything. I haven't used glass cleaner in years. If you know somebody that sells Norwex, buy the Norwex window cloth. That thing is amazing and you only use water. Um, get the water out and use it on your mirrors and that's it. <laughs> So now let's move to clean the cabinets. I just use a wet rag in my bathrooms. 
uh, my bathroom cabinets because that's all you need but here's an area that a lot of us don't realize is dirty i put a picture there when you open the drawer there is this little wood that one is usually very dusty so let's clean those okay let's make sure we clean all the door handles sometimes they're going to have some grease from the moisturizer so let's clean those pretty good in the cabinets another area we need to clean it's right when you open the doors that little wood i put a picture there in the middle so you can see and the doors they accumulate a lot of dust if you open your cabinets you'll see and also what makes it easier for us is if our cabinets are organized inside then it's much easier to clean that little area and um, that's the case in the bathrooms and the kitchen cabinets i mentioned earlier that i don't like to have a lot of stuff on my bathroom countertop because it makes it really hard to clean or to wipe down so my uh, some of my things i keep them on a little table on the side where i do my makeup and that makes it easier you just wipe down around it and you're all set and i just realized that the faucets on my tub they have some water spots so i'm gonna get the cleaning paste and i'm gonna polish them because I, if i'm cleaning i don't want to see that so we're gonna polish them and make sure they're shiny so we're going to vacuum a second time and make sure there's no trash on the floor so we can mop our floors. So for mopping, I like to use this microfiber mop because you just take the head off once you're done and you can throw it in the washer to wash with bleach. And it's very practical. I use it on um, wood. I use it on laminate and tile. It's amazing. So now that everything is nice and clean, we're going to put clean hand towels. We're going to put everything down on the floor. Always make sure your floors are dry before you put anything down. Because if they're wet, they're going to get damaged. Okay, so make sure the floors are dry to put everything down. And we're all set. So this is our final tour of this area of the bathroom. We want to make sure everything is nice and shiny. Faucet's polished, tub is nice and clean. We clean all those plants so they are they don't have any dust. So I think everything looks great. What do you think? Let me know once you clean yours and let me know how it went. <laughs>